The Yellow Jacket Refrigeration System Analyzer is the only analyzer on the market today that has a full color TFT or thin film transistor display with temperatures, pressures, charts, superheat and subcooling all on one screen. There are several benefits to a TFT display. The main one being that it can be seen from greater distances. It's also easier to add upgrade features in the future, which you'll be able to quickly access and update with a built-in USB connection. The digital manifold section of the analyzer has three different viewing screens to monitor system operations. And you can move between the screens by pressing enter. The first screen that appears has the most data. Starting from the top left, you'll see the date and time, and your selected pressure unit and refrigerant type, which you can change with the up left key if you have software version 1.06 or higher. The blue reading corresponds with low side pressure and the red reading with high side pressure. The readings underneath are the minimum and maximum pressures encountered since the memory was last cleared. To clear the minimum and maximum pressures, press and hold the clear key. One of the best features of the Yellow Jacket Analyzer is the chart of pressure over time because you can see a snapshot of what's been happening in the system. Use the chart time key to change the time per sample interval from 0.1 to 2 seconds. Use the chart pressure key to zoom in and see pressure changes in greater detail. The horizontal line corresponds with set and the scrolling vertical line with cursor. If at any time you need to reposition the time or pressure line because it goes off your screen, simply press the clear key to refit the chart on the screen. Finally, we have vapor and liquid saturation temperatures for the selected refrigerant, the measured temperatures from the thermocouples, and the calculated superheat and subcooling from the selected refrigerant. If the thermocouples are not hooked up to the system, you'll see stars in the temperature, superheat, and subcool reading area. The T1 line reads superheat, and the T2 line is for subcooling. The analyzer comes with K-type bead thermocouples, but any K-type probe will work. The second screen gives you a closer look at the superheat and subcooling readings, and the third screen enlarges the temperature readings. So you have three options depending on your viewing preference. If you're about to begin a job and your screen does not read zero, you'll need to zero the pressures. From the main menu screen, select the setup option. Move to the second screen, select zero pressure, and press enter. A warning screen will pop up to remind you to release manifold pressure before continuing. One last feature to mention here. If you ever want to freeze your display, simply press the hold key to stop action and view data from any point in time on the chart using the left and right keys. Press the hold key again when you want to continue viewing real-time readings. 